all these skills that I learned here and all the that curiosity, the research curiosity has helped me to to just play with electronics and program them. Since we're like, I want a smart gingerbread house, why not? And then I can eat it and then I'll make it, you know, move. I was prepared because there's a lot of software engineers out there that did not study computer science and they can program, but they don't know like software design or software design principles and, 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 and um, algorithm analysis and all the kind of stuff that I was taught here. I had a technical interview coming up. I was studying and I was like, how do I know I know it? I don't know. I had no way to verify. So I decided to make videos and put them in the scariest places I could think of, which was YouTube. And I said, if there's, if I say something wrong, people will call me out immediately. So that's why I started doing tutorials. Then I made a, a, a small build with a pumpkin and some electronics. And that's why I was like, oh, I really like this. I did undergrad research under Dr. Shah in this lab. And, um, and looking back, I feel like every project I do for my YouTube channel feels kind of like the research I did as an undergrad. I realized that I couldn't do both at the, anymore at the same time. It was YouTube was starting to feel like I could grow it more, become an actual business, but I was my own bottleneck because I was working really hard on my full-time job. So I had to make a decision and it was a gamble really. I didn't know it was gonna happen, but um, I went for it and quit my job. There, there were several companies that wanted to send me microcontrollers and microcomputers, so that's why I do giveaways every week. I'm like, you guys, I don't want you to have any excuse that you can't make these projects. I took Automata during the summer and I didn't know anything about that class. My fondest memory was like the whole classroom. I remember we would be here in the lab studying together before the test. And so it was, it felt like, it was so much fun. It was like a party, but <laughs> it sounds so nerdy. <laughs> it, was, it was an Automata party <laughs> every week. <laughs> It was my, I think, second year at UH, and I realized that I would see a lot of women in my classes, but I wouldn't see them in the lab here when I would study. So I decided to make a computer science girls club to hopefully attract these uh, women I'd seen in my classes. It, it grew and it was so fun. We would get together, talk about classes, share projects and pizza. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't know any engineers or scientists in my family, like my direct family. Definitely not women either. I want to make computer programming and electronics as mainstream as possible. Kind of like baking. And, and it would be so cool if like little girls and little boys out there be like, oh, I make you know, cookies with my mom or my dad, but then, oh, what if these like accessible electronics I could use and also make a, a robotic cake or gingerbread house? I really hope I get to inspire a new generation of computer scientists.